Cinderella may already have fled the scene, or, you know, the aortic stenosis sketch, in her pumpkin chariot. But the classic story continues with her evil stepsisters and a slew of sketchy characters to tell the tale of aortic regurgitation. As the night wears on, this stepsister, sporting a cone-shaped hat, which is our sketchy symbol for the aortic valve, is gulping red wine straight from the bottle, resulting in a significant uh, backflow and quite the spill. Aortic regurgitation, also called aortic insufficiency, and which we'll also call AR from time to time in this sketch, occurs when inadequate closure of the aortic valve causes backflow of blood from the aorta into the left ventricle. Like most disease processes, aortic regurgitation can be categorized as either acute or chronic. To remind us of two of the main causes of acute aortic regurgitation, our knight is riding in suddenly, holding out a lantern to guide the way. Take a closer look at that lantern, and you'll spot our symbol for endocarditis, which is a flaming heart. He's also wielding a lance with a cracked, or bisected, blade, because both endocarditis and aortic dissection are prime causes of acute aortic regurgitation. Oh, and uh, remember that acute AR can also be noted after myocardial infarction or severe chest trauma. Where would our knight be without his trusty steed? This horse galloping in at lightning speed is adorned with a banner sporting a heart and lightning bolt to symbolize cardiogenic shock. Severe acute AR most commonly presents with acute cardiogenic shock as the left ventricle fails to handle the acute volume overload. This is a medical emergency that often requires immediate surgical intervention. After a speedy arrival, the stallion is huffing and puffing and trying to catch his breath. He's also been stopped short by the sketchy angina anvil in his way. Alas, dyspnea and chest pain are both common symptoms of aortic regurgitation. <laughs> 